welcome to our YouTube channel. Yes, hello, my dear fragrances. And today we will speak about new um, perfume from per Parfum de Marly, uh, Valaya. Yes, and we will compare it with fragrances that have a kind of similar vibes as the Orobeta collection and Ex Nihilo Fleur Academy. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we already applied some of them on our skin. We can say so that in the beginning they yeah. smell pretty similar, except this one. This one is more fruitier, but these two absolutely, absolutely same. <laughs> but it's beginning. Yeah. On a dry down, let's smell it. Let's smell it. And you know, I want to say, um, Valaya stay longer, and okay. even in few hours you will still have like still enveloping you or like co cocoon. Is yeah, you still like it. Still smell um, like so distinct scent, yeah. uh, distinct smell. Yeah, I would say yes. I agree with this. And uh, on a dry down, it stays longer than Fleur Narcotique. Yeah, yeah. It stays much longer than Azora as well. Because Azora stays about six, six to seven to eight hours, depends on your skin. But that one stays much. Eight, yeah. even even sometimes more than twelve, but it depends on your skin type. Yeah. This one is five to six, but this one have really really uh, easy going and light mm -hmm. dry down because it's more musky fragrance on the dry down. That one on the dry down become more minerals, a little bit black black pepper, or white pepper, pepper, black pepper. So it's it's the, you can feel this minerals with black pepper for and now is a trend for minerals and black pepper. And Azora and then, become more like a beach. jasmine and a peach, like fruity, more vibrant, more colorful, more joyful compared to that one. That one is more sophisticated, and uh, that one is become more like more musky, more, uh, more like sec second skin scent, more like mm -hmm. really light, absolutely like small veil on uh, on your skin. And yeah, the, uh, this one more sweetier. Too. Sure, yeah. sure, because it's more fruitier, so it's. Um, you, you can feel the sweetness much more stronger. Yeah. What else? How do you like to compare them as well? But by price tag. And the price tag for sure, Azora will win because the price tag is 150 for well, 100 ml. And the price tag for Fleur Narcotica and Valaya is 420 for 100 ml. For 100 here and 75 here. Oh. So. This is the most expensive. most expensive one, yeah. If we take a look on a perfumer behind the perf uh, this, this brand, here and here will be the same perfumer, Kenton Bish. He creates another Fleur Narcotique, but like... Yeah, uh, like new vision. Restyle, yes, of Fleur Narcotique. Yeah, maybe like this, maybe he tried to create a mix of Fleur Narcotique and Ganymede, since there is a minerals and black pepper, so he tried to implement this uh, new trend with minerals and black pepper in uh, already no well known and uh, pretty popular perfume. So, kind of new edition, new life of uh, X and Hilo. Here, absolutely different perfumer. I think it's Pablo. Mm, I, I, I don't. Know. We can check if you want. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. So okay. here is absolutely different perfumer, and uh, and the style of the perfumery is quite different. This more kind of mix of Oriental and European, and that one is absolutely European, absolutely French perfumery. Both of them uh, have this vibes of sophistication, florals, like delicate flowers mm -hmm. and white flowers in general for mm -hmm. sure, but not so prominent. You cannot get the what kind of flowers. Uh, you get from this one here you can get the jasmine mm -hmm. but in general here it's like you just take a bucket to the uh, like the flower a lot of flowers and just squeeze it into the bottle and there will be a juice this one only the beginning but then it do a little bit yep let's speak about the voila like we will say a little bit more like which not we have inside like introduce the fragrance because it's new yep so if we know everything about Fleur Narcotica and Azora and uh, you can see our our previous videos so yeah we, you can check our previous videos yeah. about the 
we made a comparison again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we, we will more con we will more speak today about the Valaya. So let's break down the note for Valaya. It is a aldehyde, peach, white, white peach. peach, lily of the valley, vetiver, a little bit ambroxan. Nowadays, Mandarin. all fragrances with ambroxan. And then this peppery note comes from a Kigala wood. And um, slightly citrusy, but uh, slightly. Most what you can feel in the beginning is a white peach with aldehydes. Yeah. And and floral lily of the valley with uh, with a mix of uh, what else there a little, like a little bit of um, orange blossom mm -hmm. yeah yeah and some kind of petal petals like I don't know like really really easy going flowers like mm -hmm. really really easy going with a lot of aldehydes uh, in the beginning and it become more ambroxany and um, mineral like mineral mm -hmm. feeling with the peppery notes a bit but peppery notes comes from as we said already, uh, from Akigawa. Okay, um, what do you think about season? Hmm. You know, my my, my feeling about the season, uh, since it's uh, mostly ambroxany with minerals, it will be more summer. Summer, I, I agree with you. Yeah, if if we compare it with Fleur Narcotique, because it's because of overdose of musk in this fragrance, it can be controversial during the summer. It depends how you feel um, fragrances with the with the mask so yeah season more summer something? more summer a little bit colder summer not the heat heat wave heat wave perfect anytime and uh, like yes warm time as well for sure it's female yeah 100 percent yeah. female all of these three perfume 100 percent female because it's floral it's it's extremely floral but you know some people like yes. this one. I cannot judge. So if you want to it's smell like something like fluid, liquid flowers, yes. Yeah, it's like uh, you can see how people buy. Most uh, most customers are female who buy uh, these fragrances. But yep. for sure, all fragrances uh, say like unisex. So if you like, this one no, because uh, for Parfum de Mali they have a different uh, two different groups. One group is more oh, masculine. Yeah, this yeah, one, yeah. this bottle shows us that it's more feminine. This one is a for, created for, for ladies. So yeah, that's that should be more feminine. Okay, Even yeah. for this brand, no. For this brand, no. They don't have this, but you can feel it's more feminine vibes in, inside the fragrance. What you can say about taste? Taste. It's hard to say. This one is so. What is about maybe th this one is more like you somewhere in the mountains where air is quite different and you can feel this tickling inside your throat like uh, because the fr freshness of the air is absolutely different and at the same time mm, slightly herbal like herbal t transition to spiciness because these minerals they it don't have like too much of spiciness it's more like herbal something okay. so i would say it's something like you go in to the not everest but something like high mountains mm -hmm. and the like this air is quite different it's like over fresh air inside that's how it tastes for me it's for me i'm like in in a garden you know where it's a lot of trees blossoming trees uh, a lot of flowers it's like a I would say my expression like about like a lot of flowers I'm in the garden about this one. Mm. This one because of this mineral background with this, this peppery black mm -hmm. background. It's like it moves me like in a, in a different location. Maybe like uh, you know to how it's called this uh, kingdom Bhutan which is like high in the mountains. So you you feel a different way like a different culture it's ev like everything is quite unfamiliar for you and this one is like for sure it will be this one is a floral this one is something unfamiliar for you and like extremely fresh but that one will be more like fruity relaxing comforting but the, I, I, I feel a floral uh, yeah the floral part yeah 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 that's why I say about gardening because I, I still feel this floral notes 
Yep. So, and then I feel like I'm in the garden. Yep. What about color? I think that this one is a perfect, perfect. color. Yeah. yeah. Something like n not fully transparent. Like I will show you closer. You see, it's kind of not fully transparent, like kind of matte, matte glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Emotion. And here the perfect color, and here the perfect color, it more likely it should be peach. I think you should. I don't know which color. Loki. Emotion, emotion. Emotion. More like sending something like sophistication and uh, something for dominance. Mm -hmm. Like you are one of the crowd. Even though it's really, really feminine, but it has something that's like this peppery note, mineral note. It shows like you are only one from the crowd. For me, it's like something easy going, you know, when you don't have any thoughts in your mind, like you are free, you can wake up wherever you want, you can go, I don't know, you can do everything you want, you, you are like independent on everything. Do you think like, it's a, this come to your mind when you smell it in the beginning or on a dry down? Yeah, because on a dry down it smells absolutely different. It smells like something that you you wanna a bit of show off, you wanna have this feeling of outstanding from the ground. It's not like this one, yeah, smells like relaxing, just vibes, like like wind on a hot day, like flower meadow. This smells like this. But that one transform you somewhere like you you in the same position, but you you don't want to be with a crowd on a tulip uh, on a tulip field and taking the pictures. You want to be only one on tulip field making the pictures. So it's only your field. It's like this, so it's like it's kind of have something like I'm exceptional. I'm only one. Okay. I don't know. I, I didn't think about the the side like I'm only one or not. It's like when you don't care about anything. You know, you are going to. I'm now. When I smell the fragrance in my mind, I have picture of when I run in a beautiful dress, white maybe dress, and they uh, going to like in the garden when you have like labyrinth, like labyrinth, labyrinth, and you go a lot of clouds, a lot of trees, something beautiful, and you feel absolutely free. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, okay. I would say this one is like you are with someone on. Uh, this flowery, flowery meadow. This one, okay, I would agree. You are in the maze, but you are alone in the maze. Like it's your own mansion, close to this maze, and you uh, have the same feeling, but you are like exclusive one. <laughs> and that one, that you have more colorful, bright dress, a little bit more. Like so, this one is more like like white or kind of pastel colors. And this one, if you would like to have something more, like more flowers, more sweetness a little bit. So, yeah, I think we explain everything and let's do yeah, longevity. So yeah, as we said earlier, we tried it on our skin and that one was best one Yeah, between those three. So this one was like about more than eight hours. I, I wouldn't say it's more than 10 I, hours. I, I put it on me yeah. one day. Yeah, and I woke up, woke up next day. Uh, I feel still so smiling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's unbelievable. Okay, uh, that one will be the second place, six to eight hours, and that one is the third place, less than six hours. Okay. Price tag we already said, packaging. If you like, buy perfume according to the bottle. You can buy all three of them. They all they all three beautiful <laughs> to have yeah, in your collection. Yeah, they're quite different. Um, Parfum de Mali always have the style of the of the bottle, always the same style, yeah. It's pretty beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty beautiful, same time classy, elegant. This one is more sophisticated, I would say, a little bit more extra. And the glass here is like have this feeling of something That's really stylish. gracious, stylish, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this one is extremely velvety, beautiful. Also, is well. Bottle is beautiful as well, and uh, and the packaging, everything is good, and the smell is good. So all all three of them. It depends how you like perfume. 
that one I would say a little bit more vivid. Same with the um, same with the like we said about the the fragrance design. Everything is a little bit more extra, more colorful compared mm -hmm. to this one. This one is more constrained, like uh, elegant but French style. Here's anyway a little bit of Dubai style. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, of course. <laughs> now we do this course. Yes. What's for? Uh, first we we will do the course for the scent. Yeah. Yeah. For your Nine nine. Yeah, nine nine. <laughs> Valaya. Just because it's not not too new, like because it's an iteration of something else. I really appreciate when. The fragrance should bring absolutely new way. And uh, Azara? Azora, mm, it's hard to say. I would say it's nine. Yeah, I like just this fruitiness. I like that. Packaging? Fleur Narcotique. Fleur Narcotique. Perfect. Uh, Vlaya. I would say ten too. Nine. It's okay. Um, Azora, a little bit. Yeah, just not my style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, like, compare, compare to that one, that one is a perfect. perfect. Yep. And the price tag. Last one. Oh. oh. So, yeah. We don't like, like, but we like you. Yes. We on your side. We like. Fleur Narcotique, Valaya, one, one. I was like, okay. Okay. And uh, Adora? Adora is. Um, <laughs> let us know your opinion. Comment. And like. did you try. Uh, Valaya, uh, if not, we have it in the store. Come to this store, try it in, in, in our store, or you can buy it yourself and try it. See you guys, thank you. Stay fragrant, bye.